Oh, it's blowing its guts out. So no hunting today. A little bit of work yesterday just for a change. Right, I'm going to show you this uh, longbow that Samuel Harrison's made for me. It's really nice. Custom made. It's pulling 70 pounds at 30 inches, so it's got a hell of a lot of punch to it. I'm actually still getting used to the uh, to the amount of power it has. So um, I'm going to shoot off a few groups of arrows today. It's not the best day for archery. It's really windy. Arthur's Pass is actually closed. There's 140 km an hour winds and every now and then we'll get some big heavy gusts come through and shit will go flying everywhere but I've decided to get into instinctive archery now the reason being is it's, it's kind of like throwing a stone at something you don't aim, you just look at whatever you're throwing the stone at and you chuck it and the more you practice the better you get it's the same with instinctive archery you just focus on that target and you let your subconscious do everything else now, I tried to get into shooting a compound last year with sights but it just wasn't the same it was kind of like shooting a gun uh, sure there was technique required to become accurate but with the sights, the peak sights and all the rest of it it just wasn't the same as instinctive archery and it's such a good feeling when the point that you're focusing on uh, gets an arrow right through the middle of it, it's pretty sweet so I definitely um, suggest if you're not into, uh, well if you're into archery and you're shooting a compound get a recurve or a longbow guys uh, and try instinctive, it really is quite satisfying got some homemade Silence is on here. Hey, the roof's gonna lift off the bloody house. Back up the hill, got up in the dark, started walking at first light and we're just still bloody climbing an hour later. Uh, I think we're getting close to the top of the first ridge. How far have we got to go Smitty? Ages, we're not halfway yet. This is Sam Master Boyer down the back. Sam's a bit shy, he doesn't like being on camera so we're going to film as much of Sam today as we can. Sporting my new longbow. Mm, look at that. Ain't she a, a beauty? Uh, you never know. Might even get on to Roaring Stag or three today as well. Fingers crossed. Smitty's got his rifle as well. And uh, the plan is to get Sam a stag. Smitty a stag. And if I'm lucky, I might shoot one too. What's going on, Sam? Just playing this little hole in the tree. <laughs> <laughs> So we've come all the way up here, bit of a gut busting climb and there's nothing, there's no no roaring, there's a cow mooing off in the distance, we can't shoot that, and uh, there's some boot prints up here, which is a bit stink, there's an old scrape here, that actually reeked of stag piss last time we were up here, but it doesn't smell one little bit. So I reckon the stags have either all been shot or they've been pushed off down the ridges, down to the valley floors. Um, this tree's been rubbed sometime in the last couple of weeks. But it's dead silent. How disappointing. This roar's been a bit of a fizzer so far. We've had two hours of roaring stags and we've put in a hell of a lot of miles. I think we'll push to the end of the ridge and see if anything's going down there. Maybe if we get closer to the stag's wallow, you'll start roaring. We haven't come across the first wallow yet, so might be another day of wallow watching. Oodle lolly, oodle lolly, golly, what a day. 